time for a mini update, I think. So this is my roof of Glaucus. I can see the queen back there at the back there. But the, the real reason I'm doing an update is that there's nice, nice amounts of brood, fresh eggs. Everything in there is suggesting this is cocoons even, so everything about these are, is suggesting to me that they're gonna recover. And it's ta it's only been in the last week or so that I've really I've not been taking the cover off even. I've not dared do anything to be honest. So I've been so worried that I was going to lose my only really good colony other than the nesters. Anyway, um, that's the general way they are at the moment. So they're not, I mean, they used to fill this nest. So I cleaned this out, well, over a week ago. I've got another what, six, seven dead. So that's nothing compared to what it has been like. The real sort of bad news you could say is that my, uh, Tetramorium by Carrion Autumn. Seems to be very few left now. I don't know if there's any queens. And I don't know if there's any, well, there's certainly no eggs. I keep feeding them and stuff, but nothing seems to be happening with them. I think that could be a queen there. Maybe there is queens, those two in the middle. But they're not laying, nothing seems to be happening. So I'm just hoping that they're gonna come round at some point. And then in that tube there with the silver foil on it is my irritants queen, or maybe. I, I'm not even going to touch her for another three, four weeks. So I, I, to be honest, I fully expect her to be dead. She was just out hanging about in that outworld on her own. All the workers have died. She abandoned the brood. You know, that's happened to me quite a few times. It's never ended well. So she's probably killed up dead in that tube, but you never know. Anyway, I just thought I'd do that just to show that I have got some... Some good news, I suppose. And let's go for one last look again. Look at that. If my roof of Glaucus pull through, then I'll be happy, man. Definitely. But, I, you know, I had to get them out of the house, basically. I just had to. And we'll see. Well, I've come back inside now. I've just finished treating my messes. As you can see, they've got a whole roach, which is a very unusual thing for them. I was hoping I'd catch the big girls out, but it's only been five minutes. Filled their water up there. They've not really touched that middle seed. They seem to leave that as a bit of reserve. They're not too keen on the middle ones, the mixed ones. Black ones, yep, I'll take those. Chia seeds, I think they are. This is how the setup's looking these days. So not, much, not much has changed really for a while. What I did do, I've just hydrated it, but I've done it through the very top up there. Which is what I meant to do when I built this setup, and I'm, I don't know why I never have done. What I've always done is end up watering the bottom and causing all sorts of problems, so I've watered it from the top this time. So we'll see what happens this time. Since I came in here sorting these out, I opened the drawer and found I've got Lazius and Niger wandering around. Just about four. There's more wandering around outside than there is in the actual setup. Osius and Niger are down here at the moment. Behind all this glass. I just, I just slipped. <laughs> anyway, there's one of the queens coming out there. Well, I don't know if it is a queen. Yeah, they are bringing the big girls out. Yeah. You usually, tell the big girls are coming out when the queen when you start seeing queens appear. There's one. That one's got no wings. I don't think it is the queen. This water feed is getting away. You put a, that's the way of getting the queens out. Or well, the big girls, as I call them. That is a queen. Whether it's the queen, I hope not. Give them a nice big roach and out they come. In about half an hour's time, an hour's time, then I've started chopping that up. So you do get to see inside the nest a little bit, I suppose. Focus. 
So I'm trying to show you my fabus now. From what I can see, I've got four healthy colon healthy three queen colonies of fabus. And I was considering putting all three colonies into one satin. But if I was going to do that, I should have done that last year. And I think I'd ruin the balance and cause all sorts of problems if I did it. So that could be a real shame. So I've decided I probably won't. I've got the uh, macro lens on, so I've got, I'm trying to... This is going to be hard. I'm going to attempt to show you all the colonies. So those are in a Venus. I can't show you the Venus from the wide shot. Anyway, this is the next lot. Um, not as many workers in this one. They're in this silly nest that they, the, their tube is totally dry now. They've got a fresh tube next to them ready, but they won't move out. So I just fed them. Bit of mealworm, bit of sugar. They refuse to move and I'm not surprised. So it's just a question of leaving those to it. And then we've got these two over here. There is fresh brood in all of them, I don't know if I'll be able to show you. This sort of weird mess area. workers there. So they sort of look like they want to come out, but I haven't fed these ones yet. And then the next colony, same sort of thing really. These two tube colonies have got a decent amount of workers and stuff. So in all three, all four colonies, sorry, we've got three queens still. They've all been properly hibernated, they're all woken up now. So if I was a massive Flavus, I, I wish I had all these 12 queens in one setup, basically, but I should have done it last year, shouldn't I, if I was going to do that. So I'm left with four colonies of Flavus. The one that's in the Venus might as well stay in the Venus, and in about four years' time I have a nice colony in there. But <laughs> there's just not a lot going on in the short term. So that's, that's where I'm at, really, with the Flavus. I like them, and I want them to be a big colony, but getting there is a... You see there's mites in there, in that tube there. There's mites in the... There's probably mites in all of them. There's mites in the uh, the Venus setup as well. This is the first time I've seen them in this tube. I wouldn't be surprised if they're just in all of them. Let's have a look in there. They don't seem to be doing any harm to them or anything. Can't see any mites, can you? Is that one? Hmm. Okay, well, there's mites that I know of in two anyway. There we go. Okay, so this is my experimental Lazius Niger colony. Experimental because they're in this nest, and this nest, well, the water has gone down, so that's that's supposed to hydrate this nest, but I never, it has, I suppose it has worked this time. Sometimes it doesn't seem to work very well. This is when I was obsessed with staying dark. I think it's the first nest I ever bought, and it's a bit rubbish to be honest. It leaks like a sieve, that's why it's sat in this. <laughs> it's like a perfect fit for this, so I can now put a barrier around this and put that in there. Still got its own barriers, but these are Lazarus Niger, they'll get out whatever I do. So put them in one setup inside another setup. And Lazarus Niger, so they don't want to move. I've been in, ever since I'm coming out of hibernation, I've had the tube there. It's not run out of water, to be fair. I'm not seeing much here, Where's the light? Trying to let it, trying to get it to let me put the flash on. That's better. Right. Have they blocked themselves in? I don't think they've moved into the nest, have they? It'd be nice if they had. No. So I might as well pick. I don't know why. Have I just been recording? I hope so. So I'm going to pick this tube up and have a look at my Lazarus Niger's without them. Running all over me, hopefully. Well, not exactly a thriving colony, is it? 
plenty of brews there, I suppose. Yeah, quite a bit of brew. Can you see down there? That is the Queen, isn't it? So I don't know what to do with them at the moment. It's no big panic or anything, I can keep feeding them, they can live like this. See if anything happens or doesn't happen really. Yeah, do that. <laughs> 